Hello, good afternoon, Miss Cut Mrs. Cutbird Fan. My name is Andre Williams, madam. I'm a reporter with the Dina Company. And I am I am just seeking your guidance as it relates to whether or not you have been made aware that the Walkers Hill community has had some disruption in their water supply. Red Hills? No, no, I haven't. Not been aware. Um, well, I mean, have you called NWC? Well, um, I have reached... Have you called NWC to find out if they work? I mean, I don't understand what you said. I don't understand when you said there's a water disruption for how long? Could it be for... All right, they... they I don't understand. Like, is there a time limit? Since they've had a water disruption, is that something that happened today? I don't know. End of the sea normally sends out an advisory, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not aware unless an advisory was sent out or somebody called me from the community. All right. What, what, what I know, uh, Mrs. Scott film is that um, they used to get waters on a, on a Wednesday and Sundays, but they have said that over the past month, that has not been so. So tell them to call NWC to find out. I don't know who it is. Who are you? No, I, I'm... Are you a resident of Walker's Hill? No, madam. I am a reporter with the Dina Company. Yes, yeah, so do your due diligence and call NWC and find that out. That's... I don't know why you're calling me. Well, you are their representative. Why are you calling me? Why are you calling me? Mrs. Copperfield, I'm... Do your due diligence. Go and do your reporting and call NWC and find out. I am not NWC. That's why, that's why I started out, Mrs. Copperfield, by asking you if you are aware. I want to come here and set the record straight. A journalist from the Gleaner wrote a very misleading uh, story this morning that I made a comment regarding the Walkers Hill community and that they should call NWC themselves. Don't tell them to call NWC to find out. I don't know who it is. Who are you? I want to state categorically here that it is not true, that I never said such a thing. The journalist told me that he was doing a story and that he visited the community and that they do not have water. I said to the journalist, I'm not aware of that. They used to get waters on a, on a Wednesday and Sundays, but they have said that over the past month, that has not been so. No one has contacted me and I asked him, did he contact NWC? And he said no. And I said to him, then I think if you're doing a story, the best thing for you to do is to contact the agency. NWC, because I'm not the agency. That's I don't know why you're calling me. Well, you are the representative. Why are you calling me? To find out what could be the problem. But as far as I am concerned, nobody from Walker's Hill has ever reached out to me to let me know that they do not have water. Don't tell them to call NWC to find out. I don't know who it is. Who are you? No, I, I, are you a resident of Walker's Hill? No, madam. I am a reporter with the Gleaner Company. And if it is that any community have water issues, once a resident reaches out, I am always there to answer their call to find out from NWC what the situation is. I am not NWC. That's why, that's why I started out, Mrs. Mrs. Cobbley, by asking you if you are aware. This journalist, the call ended abruptly by me telling him that he must do his due diligence. I am not NWC. That's why, that's why I started out, Mrs. Mrs. Cobbley, by asking you if you are aware anybody in the jamaica labor party because i'm fucking sick and tired of you okay i don't want to hear from you i don't want to fucking hear from you i asked chevron to choose a project he's yet to choose a fucking project okay i'm the one who told him that i'm gonna give him paint and cement for somebody's house to fix up somebody's house up to now he hasn't come to me to tell me anything about king western and what he wants to do he called me yesterday to tell me he wants ply and nail and some other stuff for this lady's house. He has not chosen a project. So don't come to me unless you know your fucking facts. Why don't you become the fucking MP since you know everything and you're the head cook and bottle washer for every fucking thing? Why don't you become the fucking MP then? Huh? Since you're the one delegating and telling me what I must do and how I must run things. You do it. Come and take my job then. Let me fucking tell you something. You go and you play this back to anybody in the Jamaica Labour Party. Because I'm fucking sick and tired of you. Okay?